how do you get bigger arms, chest, and shoulders? Well, let me tell you. First things first, you wanna start out by having your basics covered in the compound exercises. This means you want to have compound pulling exercises like rows, pull-ups, and compound pushing exercises like overhead presses and push-ups slash bench press. Once you have these bases covered, you must engage in what is called progressive overload, which is the act of adding more weight, more sets, and or more reps onto each exercise with each subsequent workout. Once you have your bases covered on compound lifts and you're engaging in progressive overload on them, you can add isolation lifts into your program, which are single joint exercises like bicep curls. You likely need to incorporate both compound and isolation exercises into your workout if you want to maximize muscle growth. Here's three quick tips on that. Anything that engages in elbow flexion, which is the movement I'm doing right now under load, will help you build your biceps, which is the front side of your arm. Anything that involves extension under load will help you build your tricep, which is the back side of your arm, right here. And anything that involves adduction of the chest or extension of the elbow, like a pec fly or a bench press, is going to help you build your chest. Another final tip of fully maximizing chest development is you likely want to work all angles of the chest, which includes a decline angle, like a decline bench, a flat angle like a flat bench, and an incline angle like an incline bench. I would implement all of these tips in a hierarchy in the order of how I just told them to you because that is the order of importance. For more stuff like this, follow Johnny Reps Fitness.